Okay, y'all, so here's the thing. I have pulled what I think are the most chicest, comfortable outfits to wear this week. And some of the things I got from New York City and some things that I got from a haul. So I did mention on my last vlog um, that I was gonna be going to New York City for a couple of days and I had a really, really great time. It was just a, just a little quick getaway for a day. I think one of the most special things that we did in while we were in New York City was actually go to brunch, lunch at the top of Restoration Hardware. Can I say stunning, gorgeous, the most perfect afternoon was being on that rooftop restaurant. So if you're in New York City and if you happen to get a chance to go to Chelsea area, definitely take advantage of going to the top of the RH uh, Restoration, Restoration Hardware store. The restaurant on top is just absolutely beautiful. Restoration, you know, just going in the store itself, you're like, ooh, ah, you're like, ah, it's so beautiful. And then to be able to dine in an outdoor space with all Restoration Hardware, and if you're a fan of Restoration Hardware like me, you're gonna be like ah, so beautiful so anyway so we definitely did that so now I'm gonna get right into some of the things that I got while I was there and then some of the things that I got delivered okay so let me start off with the things that I got from the thrift store called um, housing works I got some really cute cute things I got um, they had gotten some new things with the tag still on them and they literally these like these little long sleeve sweatshirts or long sleeve t-shirts they're really thick were literally I want to say like $20 or $25 $25 and I couldn't decide I'm like and I'm standing there literally and I'm like okay which one white or black white or black and I'm like really Jackie $25 they're really thick they're long sleeve they're nice and long so I'll really be able to wear them with anything and I thought Jackie just get both get realistic so I got them both one in black one in black and one in the white so that's one thing I got. Then they had, by the same brand that they had these new tags on, this really, really cute, thick, long sweatshirt. Uh, also, which is $25, brand new. And I thought it would be perfect just throwing on with some jeans or just some sweatpants or something like that as we transition without wearing a coat coat or just actually just being around the house um, in the wintertime. It was like really cute, nice and oversized. So, and brand new. And one thing about housing works, as, as I said last time before, people donate to this particular chain store because they actually give back. And so all proceeds go back to get going to two different organizations. And so <clears throat> you're going to find some really nice things from there. So in addition to the sweatshirt and those few things that I got from there, I was actually, while I was there also, I was really, I like to go there look to look for like different like home accessories that I'll be able to get for really cheap. I really didn't find any home accessories this time. That's what our, my really my intention was, but I ended up finding these things. But I got this really cute scarf. And can I say, I almost spent a lot of money on another scarf before I actually saw this one in the housing work. And I think this was what, $15. And it is stunning, 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 because you guys know what my new popular color is. And it's like gray. So it's like gray gray green with these little pops of like little stitching going down it is so so cute so what else i was gonna say oh oh my outfit that i have on today you know i'm going into fall but i'm still gonna wear my pops of color because i know i'm gonna be wearing a whole lot of black real soon but you know i thought once again this video is basically transitioning wearing some fantastic sweatsuits and sweat outfits uh, without looking like a regular sweatsuit I guess you would say and so for me you guys know I bought this over the summertime from uh Sophista, Sophistia Funk um in New York which I love her stuff this this is the lady remember I said who like puts a B someplace and on the B on this item she puts she put it right here so this is what I have when I'm going to step back and show you it's just regular sweatpants but I like the fact of how large and oversized they are and I actually have a 
on a size small so she she makes her things with the oversized look on purpose so which you know i love but um so anyway it's just a regular sweatshirt hoodie and um and i just threw on my um alexander mcqueen sandals and my little white uh rag and bone t-shirt it kind of actually gave me a pickup when i actually put it on i actually really did i felt like oh like i felt like i don't know i felt like brighter and happier you know i am on the northeast in the new jersey pennsylvania area and i didn't want to start the vlog off like in a negative way um because i'm very thankful but we were the area that was hit pretty strong by the tornado and I'm just so thankful that everyone of my neighbors and everyone is safe. Um, it was like really like it, it happened so fast, y'all. So fast. So all I can say is take heed to the warning. If your area announces or tornado, you get the announcement on your phone, you get the announcement on TV, don't ignore it. Um, we are in some unsettling times with the weather across our country and uh, we have some professionals who are doing their very best with the capabilities and the system that they have and so when they warn us definitely just take it serious because that tornado we got the warning and it hit five minutes later and thank god we were able to take shelter um before it actually hit so just just take heed to the warning if you do get one for your area and take it very seriously don't drive don't be on the road just take cover for the time that they're telling you that there could be a tornado or a bad storm um coming your way so but anyway so i am very 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 thankful so anyway i'm gonna keep this positive because everything is just working itself out just fine god is protecting and taking care of us so i'm excited and thankful so anyway, all right, so I told you what I'm wearing today. So this is another outfit, right? So here is something else I got when I was in New York. I, when we were in Chelsea, we had just finished eating the brunch. And uh, this gentleman alerted us to the store he think we should come into. Actually, he was the owner. And uh, I'm so glad I did because I actually got another sweatsuit on sale. And I love this so much. This one is, I think it's by Off-White. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. It's by Dries, Dries Van Halen. So Dries Van Houten, I'm probably saying this thing wrong. So yeah, another sweat. So you're like, wait, you have one yellow. Okay, yeah, this is yellow, but this is like a um this is like a soft, like light green yellow color, we should say. But here's the difference between this one. The ones I have on are like the regular sweatpants at the bottom. These are made like trouser pants. So 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 nice. And um, so it does have the drawstring and then with the one pocket in the back. And then it has a nice oversized um, sweatshirt. So, and I actually even tried it on with a pair of um, my Bottega boots. Yes, I am going to start rocking my Bottega boots now. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so I tried it on both with that and I absolutely love it. And um, I even tried it on, I have something coming, a dupe that I ordered from Zara won't be here until next week though but when i get them i'm going to share with you actually i'll tell you what they are so anyway when i was in this store i'm going to show you a similar outfit that the uh sales associate helped me with so anyway so i got this from her and then she had me try on this other outfit that i love blah, 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 but i didn't love the price so i didn't get it but she had me put on a combination okay let me put this way she had me put on a combination that i wouldn't have never thought to do so he i'm gonna then i came home and i tried to do something similar without buying the things that she have i thought let me try what i have at home first okay so here's the one thing i bought so you guys know the in thing in that's a trend that's coming back again you if you still have them in your closet from years ago bring them back out and that is the leggings with the uh the slits in them right so that is like a big trend everywhere when the trend was out years ago i didn't really wear the trend i just i just didn't don't know why but she had me try on a pair of beautiful like sweater type leggings with the with this uh with the open stitch on the side 
and this beautiful like sweater like coat dress and here's the thing she had me try it on wearing clogs these clogs were pretty nice uh by kate k8 anyway i'll put a picture of the clogs now i didn't wear clogs when clogs were in so i definitely wasn't paying the money for these expensive clogs or something that i may or may not wear a whole lot but i would say the difference with these clogs were they had like a, a squared off in the front and i was like but when she put it all together i'm like this kind of looks nice so um, I didn't want to buy those things because they were quite expensive. So I came home, I went online, I went on Zara to see if they had any slip leggings or something, and they did. So I just got these in from Zara. They're not the stretchy, uh, can't talk, I got these Invisalign in. They're not the stretchy sweater type ones that she gave me, but they, they were like so much money. I thought these dupes for $39, I'm going to try these. So these are the ones that I got from Zara. And like I said, they're not the sweater, sweat, stretchy material. So definitely get the ones true to your size when I link the information below. So I got those. And then I had this um, long white like sweater shirt overflowing that I've had for years that I had gotten from Saratoga from this other boutique. But anyway, you guys have seen me wear this before. Zara came out with a dupe clog that looks really really nice and they're all leather so there's actually two different type of clock there was one clock for like 149 i'll put here and then the one that i order is 199 and i'll put that there so i got the one for the 199 because that's the one that really looks super similar to the original one that looks that's here for can i say eleven hundred dollars so I bought the dupes for $1.99. Uh, so they're expected to come next week. So I'm, I'm hoping they look really, really good. And um, so what I plan to do is this. Stay tuned and follow me on uh, IG because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be wearing like all of this stuff over the next week and i'm going to post every day the different outfits that i'm going to be wearing uh when it comes to these looks that i'm actually showing you today so some you're going to see me try on for you and then the rest i'm going to try on and post every day and definitely know let me know what you think so when i get the clogs in next week i'm going to put this all together and then i'm going to post it and you guys let me know what you think okay so that's the one outfit something else okay they got me again. I am not doing this anymore. You guys get those. We get those advertisements from a lot of um, like Instagram advertising for different clothes. And if you're like me, there's this one brand called Ma Manor, Manor, something like that, where most of the things like the really oversized, big and overflow. And I love that. Well, they got me again. I'm not ordering anymore. Every time I order from them, it's like not great quality or something's not right. But here's the thing. They're too short. They're like, and there is a difference when you're wearing something like a crop and then something I don't know. It's like a odd it's like a odd length. And I don't feel comfortable, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these pants. So, I may just I don't know. I may just, you know what I'm probably going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I have a box in a car. I'm going to take these and put this in the car because I cleaned out my little closet, my little clutter area of stuff. I didn't know what to do. Like I had some stuff and I'm like, okay, do I donate? Do I sell? What do I do? So I created three different piles. I created a donate pile to Goodwill. So I had that stuff in the car. I created a, um, a little few things that I, I'm selling to consign with Real Real. And then the other thing, I was like, okay, what do I do with this? Because I know Real Real is not going to take those. So then that stuff, I am going to be um, selling through ThreadUp. So that's like, I call that a, I call that a really nice thrift consignment online shopping. So you'll really get some really nice quality, neat, taken care of things without being like crazy price. So I think... They're gonna go to thread up. Um, okay, see, oh, here is something that I got pre owned too. Another thing I got pre owned, I got this from, uh, oh, who did I order this from? Oh, do you guys follow the uh, luxury consignment store? I think it's out of Florida called 
consigning times yeah consigning times she's really like entertaining and fun uh with, with the owner and then a the young lady that works with her and uh, typically they do like handbags and pocketbooks i've never bought anything from her. i just like watching a lot of videos the details it's like a army green vest and just another perfect transitional item that put on top of like a long sleeve t-shirt or something with straight jeans leggings you can even wear shorts at this time still because it's just a nice nice transitional time so this is something else that i got this week that i'm loving as a transitional piece you guys know you can never go wrong with like like vest or oversized sweaters or long sweaters or something like that as long as you have something that's a, a light layering i think is like perfect perfect transitional item and you guys know i love layering anyway so i'm excited about that um i have a few more things that i want to share with you but i'm going to switch now to a couple more things that i got in new york okay now while i was in new york i got another perfume by celine so this is all my girlfriend's fault i had no intention of buying another perfume but this one you guys know the last time i bought one from celine it was um in the beginning when they first came out and that was called black tie which i love and so the new one i got is called dan dan's paris so dan's paris is the um yeah so dan's paris is the uh the scent of this particular one and it smells so good if it, it, it's i thought it was similar to black tie but then the sales associate Andrew said no it's different but for me I would say it's still in the same category so if you have black tie and you're looking to add something else from the Celine fragrance line then definitely try this one you know I think it's like a perfect perfect transitional fragrance like for day actually you could wear it day or night so it's not too heavy for day um, and not too light for evening i just think it's really really perfect so if you're looking to buy one scent it smells so good y'all so this is the one i'm not buying any more scents this season i'm done 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 okay something else i got when i was there i um I got in my another bubble bath but I tried this one La Tulip this time I just wanted to do something different and I like it a lot I haven't used it yet but I just wanted to share that with you first um so and then here is something from a black online and it is a new for me it's new um it's a wonderful uh, beautician uh, in the Philadelphia area that she has her own hair care line and uh so Queen made is her line and this is actually the serum for shininess can i say i love this for me i don't like a serum that's like too oily that's going to weigh my hair down and then i don't like you guys know me when it comes to like things that i put in my hair on my body i don't i like it to be fragrance free so it doesn't have an odor so it's not going to like change whatever you got going on on your hair um it's light it's really shiny and all you need is a little bit so a little bit definitely goes a long way and i love it and it's very very reasonable price so fantastic quite queen style lista is her ig as well and i'll post that below she's really 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 good so shine serum is fantastic look at my eyes and look at my concealer i am trying another concealer for the first time you guys know i am still going to be on this concealer hunt and the the my girlfriend told me to try this one because you guys know i've tried like four recently and this one is the one by Too faced born this way and the color that i got is mocha i tried it on in store in sephora and i really liked it it reminds you it's very similar to pat mcgrath so that kind of shows you like the density coverage but but thin and light and not too cakey and not too drying um, so it's like more on the moisturizing side versus on the drying side. So, so far I like it. So hopefully the camera picks it up pretty good and it's like not obvious. But the, the young lady in Sephora was super helpful helpful with picking the color and I like it a lot. So anyway, so I'll have to see what this looks like too when I watch the video. But like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it's my first time actually putting it on. I haven't even gone out the house yet. So I haven't even looked at it in the daylight to see if I love it. But in the store and in the house, 
I love it. So y'all have to let me know what you think. Is this one a good one compared to what I've been using so far? Because typically I use um, Pat McGrath's one or um, that's the one I've been using the most. I have some others, but that's and Fenty I use sometimes, but I found Fenty to be a little bit drying sometimes. So I've been sticking to Pat McGrath just because a little bit more moisturizing. But anyway, so I'm excited about trying that one. Okay, now, so back to the few more clothes that I have. So sticking with um, comfy, oh, so I shared that one with you. So here's another line that I've recently bought is, okay, where is the, and okay, I'm looking for, what did I do with it? Anyway, I'm loving wearing the whole sweatshirt fabric um with shorts as well i love 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 and i just think this is definitely if i had to pick one outfit to wear right now that's going to give me that comfort of wearing sweat clothes but still looking chic and not if you don't want to really wear a sweat suit look then i think this look is the bomb i truly 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 mean that and so here is a a sweatshirt fabric blazer by Blue Salt. And so I it's called a boyfriend cut oversized um, jacket. And I thought it was perfect because then I could wear it with like jeans. I can wear it with leggings. I can wear it with like dress pants or something like that. Um, but I bought it because I really wanted to wear it with these shorts. So I got the matching sweat shorts and I thought it was perfect, 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 you know, to wear, like I said, with like nice chunky like shoes. You can wear them with slides. You can wear it with sneakers. You can really wear it with everything. Um, and so I did just wear this one the other day and I want, I'll show the picture right here. I uh, did my little quick run to Target. But this one, uh, I love this brand a lot too, which I shared you before. Uh, it's a Kardashian, I think it's Chloe's line called Good American. But they really are two great pieces of quality sweatshirt fabric outfits that you will definitely get your money's worth and you won't regret it. I've been actually trying to find that one in a different color, but every time I go onto the site, it's sold out in color. So I'm gonna keep checking, you know, um, you know, so anyway, just keep checking back, you know, if you're trying to find the right color, just wait, get the color that you really want because it's not cheap compared to like getting something at Zara's but I definitely feel I will be wearing this for many years to come and I won't have to replace it like in two years or something so I'm really excited about those things and then the last outfit that I want to share with you, I have one more thing to share with you so last outfit and then one last thing so um this is another outfit that I cannot wait to wear it's something that I already have but I'm gonna share with you when I wear it on Instagram because it is an uh oh, oh, oh I can't wait so my love Leather shorts because you know it's still short season but it's definitely leather season so I'm going to wear this together with a long uh, cotton like tuxedo jacket and I am going to rock it with my boots so stay tuned for that one look out for my instagram post right here with journey with jackie underscore from instagram post okay so that is the last outfit that i want to share with you and the last thing i got from new york is another great accessories yeah oh it was a big splurge but it's a really really good accessory that i know i will get a lot of good use out of when i wear it this season and i just wanted to get I just wanted to add things to my wardrobe that I truly didn't have that I truly feel was gonna I was gonna get the value out of them and not just wear a couple times but before I show you that I forgot I had gotten a um a lipstick while I was in the uh because I went to the um the Hermes store in in Chelsea right next to um right next to RH so I got let's see let me put this down all right beautiful packaging of course and I got this really pretty once again I'm trying to you know keep up with pops of color because I have so much neutral stuff and this color is it's a matte it's called 68 rouge blue rouge blue 68 I'll put just a little on ironically I think I have on something very similar this is a Pat McGrath liquid lipstick I have on. I'll actually, I'll link that below too, what I actually have on, yeah. 
my just two on a a pat mcgrath um liquid lipstick and i'll, I'll link in, in the information for you below as well but anyway pretty color so i thought this would be perfect like even if it's not if it's like too like too ready um i always can you know tone it down with a, a neutral lip color i thought so anyway so that was ruse blue 68 okay so here's my last thing i got that i think yes it was a big splurge and my girlfriend didn't talk me out of it because internally when things cause like too much too crazy she's like girl you crazy but she didn't talk me out of this one she actually thought i should get this one too so because i was going to get something that was like half the price but when i saw this i didn't plan to buy this one and when i saw this i'm like i think that's it and she agreed so and that is i got this beautiful you guys know I love white all year round. You know I love leather all year round and I love white all year round. So in the winter, I wear a lot more creams. And so this is a beautiful cashmere white, off-white um, scarf. And then it has the stitching stripes of like a little red, a little blue, and a little yellow. And I just thought it was so, so nice. Actually, it may be black. I don't know if that's black. I think we put it next to black. Yeah, if you put it next to black, it, it still works. And I guess it's like one of those black blues. You can put it next to black or blue. Okay, so that is my little New York City shopping haul slash comfortable outfits that is perfect transitional for the season. So let me know which was your favorite and if you would buy any of these things and if you have questions about any of these things definitely link me the question below i would absolutely love 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 to answer the question for you guys i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching subscribing liking all the above always appreciate it and i love you guys so much and i'll be seeing you next week have a wonderful day. And if you got any other ideas for me for videos, what do you think? If you want me to show more of something, do more of something, definitely let me know. I would love to know what you're thinking as well. Love you guys. See ya.